Hello, this is my presentation. So about the team, uh, the team name is uh, PHAD2. Uh, the team members are me, Emil. I have about uh, one year of robotics in secondary school and four years in total of experience. And this is my second time participating in RoboCop Autonomous Driving. Uh, summary. Since it's the autonomous driving, U19, uh, we have to code a robot to get from point A to point D in the fastest time possible after going through all required checkpoints. Uh, we can use a couple of strategies like proportional line tracing, shortcuts, and using of routes. This will result in a time of 31 seconds to finish the whole map. Uh, so the conclusion is using the strategies above makes the final time shorter. Now using two of the strategies, shortcut and routes. So as you can see, I'm taking a short route to point D to cut down on time. This is the shortest route available after I tested a couple of times with my friends. Now the robot exits point A, goes through the first checkpoint, goes down and goes through this shortcut instead of going through the path above, this will save a lot of time. Then it goes down and then goes further down, goes through the roundabout and then makes it way all the way down to point D after passing the third checkpoint. This helps, this helps to count, cut down on time. Now, another strategy is to use proportional line tracing. Now, what is it? It's code that will make adjustments to the path of the robot based on how far off from the line the robot is. It determines this by calculating the difference between the IR sensor reading and the value of the IR sensor reading on the edge. The robot turns at different speed proportional to how far from the line it is. There is a base speed for each wheel and then they will go either slower or faster based on how far off the line the robot is which causes sharper turns and more gradual turns respectively for a smoother turning. Now once you use it, it, when you need a robot to follow a line. Now applying the knowledge to the real world, we can apply proportional line tracing to make autonomous vehicles more reliable as they can now accurately line follow and will not go off the path, which could potentially harm the passenger inside. Now, for the gameplay, 